Welcome to the channel guys, we are back again and today I'm going to be doing a clone comparison between Perfume Parlor's Tobacco Oud and of course the original Tobacco Oud by Tom Ford, so stay tuned for that. If you like fragrance reviews, clone comparisons, and top lists, hit that subscribe button for more great content. So I recently picked up some decants from um, somebody in one of the Facebook groups and I believe they sent me some of this uh, perfume parlor tobacco oud they also sent me perfume parlor feb delicious uh, which i'm going to be checking out as well but i decided to go with this one first partially because i do really like tobacco oud but also it's been discontinued as far as i'm aware so i think it's a great time to be looking into clones if you actually really do enjoy that fragrance personally i'm not the kind of person to uh, spend a ton of money on discontinued fragrances that have become hard to get and uh, I think this is one of the best things clone houses can do in my opinion. You know, there's a lot of people that really love fragrances that get discontinued and sometimes they become incredibly rare or hard to get. And so having a clone available um, to, to wear instead is actually a really nice thing in my opinion. Now the question always is how well does that stack up to the original? So I'm gonna be talking about Tobacco Oud by Perfume Parlor. This is actually the first fragrance from Perfume Parlor I've ever checked out. Um, I have heard some things about them from some other YouTubers, and they did sound uh, to be quality. So, you know, without further ado, let's get into it. So, Tobacco Oud, this is one of those polarizing scents, apparently. Anyways, this is what I hear. <clears throat> I uh, personally, I really enjoy it, but this is one of these fragrances that I think a lot of people apparently don't like. It does have a very mature, masculine a well put together, refined kind of a smell. And I guess some people are not gonna like that. Uh, but like with anything, some people will not like whatever it is you wear. So what do I get from this one? So this one does open up with a very nice whiskey uh, booziness, slight hint of sweetness. And it's very, very whis strong whiskey in the opening, especially right when you first spray this on. And this is one of the nice things about uh, perfume parlor, at least from what I've tried from them, is that a lot of times I find um, clone houses, when you first spray it on, at least, so sometimes it lasts a couple of minutes, sometimes it's just the initial burst, but you get kind of a funky smell, sometimes it smells a lot like alcohol. Um, none of that with this. So this one went right into the good stuff right away, which was awesome. So um, yeah, like I was saying, very nice, um, reminds me a lot more of a single malt kind of a scotch uh, or a scotch whiskey than any other kind of whiskey, which I, which is of course very similar to the Tom Ford. Um, there is a bit of a sweetness that comes in, creeps in uh, pretty quickly. And to me, it does smell like dried fruits. Now I've looked at the notes, um, you know, dried fruits are not in this. It's got benzoin and some other uh, sweet accords. But something about it, something about the way they all work together gives me the impression that a lot of fragrances that have um, dried fruits in them smell. So this does come off very boozy in the beginning. Um, do get a hint of that tobacco. And uh, I'd say within the first couple of minutes, actually, the tobacco starts to get a lot stronger. Um, and it transitions into sort of a very dry tobacco with everything else sort of sitting in the background. And then again, the sweetness starts to creep back in um, and adds a really nice dimension to that very, very uh, dry tobacco. So it does maybe smell like an unlit cigar or pipe tobacco or something like that. Um, but there is actually an interesting quality to this as well, which is that it does, I believe, have incense in it and there is a bit of smokiness. So I do periodically get some smokiness, which does give the impression of like a scotch whiskey and like a lit cigar or something like that. And of course, very high quality tobacco. Uh, I'm not sure what they use, but it does smell like good uh, quality tobacco, not a cheap cigar, of course. Maybe they're smoking Cubans, who knows. Now we'll say this is one area in which the clone does um, kind of diverge a little bit. I do find that the original or the the actual Tom Ford is at times a little bit smokier. So while the opening to me is really bang on, it has that um, strong whiskey that settles into a little bit of a dry tobacco and then everything else starts coming in uh, to the fragrance. I find it nails that very well, but there are times when I find there's a smokiness in the original that this one does not necessarily have. That being said, I think the opening is really, really close, and I don't think unless somebody's sitting there really analyzing it 
or really knows and loves tobacco oud that they are going to tell any difference so this does smell very good quality it doesn't smell cheaper um, to me the transitions and um, you know all of the notes and the way they blend together is pretty spot on in the in the opening now I know there's spice in this one, but I don't really get any spiciness, um, especially not in the spice bomb or whatever kind of a sense. It's not very strong. There is maybe some remnants of that, but I also don't really find tobacco oud to be spicy. So like the original, I don't really pick up much on the spices. There is a warmth that starts to come into this fragrance in the dry down. So it does actually remain or retain a little bit of that sweetness a little bit of that kind of dried fruit characteristic and i do find that both fragrances the original and the perfume parlor do that really quite well and uh, the tobacco definitely stays there not as prominent in the dry down it does become a little bit woodier there's a little bit of a sandalwood and honestly the wood to me smells a little bit more like a, a cedar wood i know that it is supposed to be oud in this tobacco oud but uh, for whatever oud they used or for whatever accord they used I don't really smell it. Not in not in the sense of any of the, the oud fragrances that I've really smelt or experienced. So this doesn't have anything skanky about it. It doesn't even have uh, what I like to call or refer to as a sort of clean cleaner oud, which is can either smell leathery or it smells like wood, but it smells quite a bit different. So it doesn't smell like a cedar or you know birch. It doesn't smell like any of those other woods. It definitely has a different character to it. And so I don't really pick up that at all with this one or the original. So for, again, whatever oud is in this, I don't really detect it. I do get more of a cedar accord. I get a little bit of a sandalwood. Um, you know, if I was going to criticize in both cases, it would doesn't smell like the most the best sandalwood I've ever smelled. Something like, if I'm thinking about it, one of the best sandalwoods that I've ever smelled would be something like Meander by Amouage just released very nice um you know creamy sandalwood this does have a little bit of that quality but again it's more of a cedar with a bit of a a little bit of a rough sandalwood in my opinion um doesn't smell bad by any means but it's just not that ultra sort of creamy sandalwood that a lot of people talk about and a lot of people really really love now i was surprised i do actually pick up in the dry down in both cases a little bit of booziness still. It's very slight, but every once in a while you just get a whiff of that sort of scotch whiskey, which is actually really, really nice. It does maintain that sort of maturity with the fragrance. And this is sort of one of the things I like about this thing. I mean, this is the kind of fragrance that you would wear as a mature, refined gentleman, um, probably a successful businessman or something like that. Um, this is a good fragrance for that. And the perfume parlor, Clone, like I said, it's very, very close, very, very good in my opinion. The scent profile, it's very close. There's minor differences, like I said, that I can pick out here or there, maybe a little less smokiness, maybe a little bit at times. I find that the uh, sort of sweet, sort of fruit, dried fruit kind of accord, it's a little bit stronger. Um, there are small things like that, but altogether it does nail this fragrance very, very well. So, um, I in my opinion, scent profile, very, very good. Um, it's pretty much on point, in my opinion. Now, performance, I actually found that the uh, Perfume Parlor inspiration or clone, whatever, does seem to be a little bit louder. Now, the I am testing the tobacco oud from a vial, so I do find often I get a little bit better projection with a spray as opposed to a vial. So that is most definitely something to be aware of, but I don't think it's a slouch in any means. It does perform well. It's not you know, absolutely beast, but there is definitely sillage when I'm moving my hands around or when I, you know, if I move my head and I smell it from my neck, um, there is definite sillage with this one. And the longevity is pretty good. I would put it around eight hours. Um, I did have a shower and I could smell it after faintly but it was there and it was mostly just the dry down that was left that sort of cedar sandalwoody kind of a vibe with a little bit of something else uh, but ultimately performs well the longevity is good i know these are pretty inexpensive the only thing um, i would be concerned about with perfume parlor i know they're a uk based brand so i'm not sure what kind of prices you're going to pay to get this shipped to north america or even anywhere in the european union so availability is perhaps the only uh, potential problem with 
this particular fragrance. I think if you like tobacco oud, you don't really want to try and uh, pick up a really expensive discontinued item. Although I think at least for now, you can probably still pick it up, not too outrageously, uh, but especially once it becomes a lot more outrageously priced, um, as a, it potentially could, I think that this is definitely something to consider if you just don't want to pay those prices, but you do like the fragrance. And even if you don't want to pay the price of the original at whatever it was retail, to, you know, Tom Ford is not, ex not a, a cheap fragrance. I think it's a good alternative. Very well crafted. Um, very, very close. There, like I said, minor differences, but performance is there, sillage is there, longevity is there, and the scent profile is very, very similar. If I had to give it a percentage, I'd put it in the 95 to maybe even at times 99% range. Um, very well crafted. Anyways, guys, um, that was definitely a good first sort of impression for the brand Perfume Parlor. I would love to try out more of their fragrances. Uh, yeah. Have you tried anything from Perfume Parlor? Let me know in a comment down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.